you guys, it's Laurel True, dispatching here from my studio in New Orleans. Ugh, sunny and hot New Orleans at that. Um, I just got back from teaching in France. A wonderful workshop there, and have had some really amazing projects this spring and summer. One of them being the Urban Eyes Project. And I wanted to give you guys an update so you feel in the loop what's going on uh, with, uh, with everything. Okay, so first of all, I want to say all of the, uh, the eyes that have come here to my studio are so amazing. Uh, I'm so impressed with uh, the quality and the craftsmanship and all the different techniques and the interesting materials that you guys have sent with your eyes. It's really wonderful. The project has just so far exceeded my expectations. Um, when I initially put the call out, I thought maybe 50, 60 people would uh, contribute an eye and we would go throw up a mural someplace. And uh, it turns out that I have received over 550, actually almost 600 mosaic eyes from 30 countries around the world. So it's, it's staggering and just so cool. Receiving all your packages was really wonderful. Um, the mail people were like, ah, what's going on? It was sort of like Christmas every day. I loved seeing all the stamps on all the packages and seeing thank you for all your little notes that you put in there. And um, that was really wonderful. I think I'm going to do something with all of that ephemera because I've been saving everything. Now. I'm hoarding all your packaging as well as, as well as your eyes. So watch for that. All right, so to answer a couple of questions that you guys have been asking, one of them is, will I be opening the call back up? And uh, the answer is yes, I will be opening the call back up for a short period of time internationally. Uh, I did close the call at the end of April because I wanted to do some local outreach and work with some people in New Orleans so I could get some contributions uh, locally because it seemed, uh, it seemed like maybe, I don't know, not seemed like, we had about 90, maybe 95% of the eyes were from outside of New Orleans. So I decided to do, uh, devote some time doing some outreach. And I did work with a group of high school students from NOCA over here, which went across the from the studio. And uh, I opened my studio for a couple of open sessions, and I will continue to do that this summer and do some more outreach with community groups. That said, hold tight, okay? I will be posting when I open the call back up on the Global Mosaic Project Facebook page, okay? So that's where the communication is gonna happen about the project. And also, if you do send an eye and you're wondering if I sent it, check the notes section on that Facebook page because that's where I have a list, a running list of everyone whose eyes that I've received, okay? So when, and here's the other question, is when is the mural actually going to be executed? And it looks probably like this fall. What, uh, what has happened with the growth of the project is it became so much bigger than I had originally anticipated that it really warrants that I focus on this project and uh, really do justice to what this can become. So instead of it being like, there's a mural over there, it's going to be a, um, a much, much, much larger scale project. So I'm going to launch a Kickstarter campaign and fund the project, get some funding in line there, and after I do that, then I'll open the call back up. So watch for the Kickstarter campaign if you want to contribute, and also watch for that call to be opened back up again. Uh, the second question that people are asking is if they can come to New Orleans and help with the mural. And the answer is yes, of course. It's a community project, and I welcome both local and international participation. I don't know what those dates are going to be, and I will keep you up to date through kind of this video format uh, through my YouTube channel, but I'll link it to the Global Mosaic Project Facebook page. And I'll probably know maybe three to four weeks out. So. Uh, don't panic. I, I don't, I'm not, if you're like, oh, I live in Spain and I really want to come, when can I get my ticket? I don't know at this point. So uh, dot, dot, dot. We're going to get that Kickstarter campaign going and finished and then put the call out again and that's when the actual execution will be um, scheduled. Okay? So, in conclusion, I think that's a good sort of synopsis of where we're at at this point. Uh, I want to just close by saying again thank you to everyone who has contributed an eye, not just those of you who I worked with in Chile, but so many people from around the world. It's so, so inspiring, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this project unfolds and, and, and grows. Okay, so thank you, and until the next time.